Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez and today I will show you the difference between two very common procedures. The difference between uh, a lap band or an adjustable gastric band and the gastric sleeve. Both procedures are done uh, through uh, minimal, uh, minimal invasive surgery or laparoscopic surgery which is uh, also known as keyhole surgery. This means uh, your uh, recovery is uh, very quick. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the adjustable gastric band uh, which uh, the makers claim uh, that this procedure is reversible. So uh, this is a ring, this right here. It's a ring that goes around your stomach as you see here. It is uh, attached to this port through a tube. Uh, the way this works is uh, you can uh, adjust uh, the balloon, it's a balloon in here, uh, on the band by injecting uh, saline solution into the system through here. So um, in theory, it sounds really nice, in theory it will help you eat less because you only get this full, you get full much quicker. Um, and when you uh, reach your desired weight, you can actually get some fluid out and the system uh, out of the system and uh, you will stabilize your weight. So um, uh, the silicone material is very durable. It can be inside a person uh, without uh, uh, a problem, although it is still a foreign body. Um, this procedure was approved by the FDA back in um, uh, June, if I recall, 2001, and now all the uh, it's been uh, done a lot. So uh, I know all this sounds like really neat, really cool, but uh, when it comes to uh, long-term results, cost for fills, uh, maintenance, and uh, the quality of life uh, for patients, uh, well, these patients uh, uh, they're throwing up a lot. They've got a lot of reflux. Uh, the restriction on certain foods like bread, meat, uh, etc. It lost popularity. The, the fills are done every two, three months interval until the optimal level is achieved. Uh, these fills are done uh, as an outpatient uh, procedure. Um, and uh, down the road, uh, if something happens with band, because things happen, uh, the band can slip, it can move, it can erode, uh, it can go get into the stomach. Uh, you'll probably end up in the OR again trying to correct the problem or even having your band removed. So um, uh, now let's talk a little bit about the, the sleeve, the gastric sleeve compared to the band. Well, uh, there are many differences, many, many differences, which makes the, the sleeve a much better procedure. And some of these differences uh, are, uh, most important thing is, better quality of life. Uh, it is proven uh, to be uh, to have better weight loss uh, than the band. There's no obstruction because there's nothing in between uh, uh, trying to uh, an obstacle there. Uh, so uh, there's no continuous vomiting or throwing up like with the band. There's no need for maintenance like fills um, with the band, like with the band, and there's no foreign body in sight like with the band. Um, there's no long-term risks like uh, slippage, erosion, uh, that may require additional surgeries and more cost. Uh, the ghrelin, that's another big thing, the ghrelin hormone with the, the surgery, with the sleeve, um, it's reduced. Uh, doesn't happen with the band. So uh, once it's reduced, uh, the cravings and the hungers are reduced greatly. And, uh, and these are just a few differences. If you'd like to know uh, even more uh, about the sleeve, uh, please click on the link below here. It'll take you to a video where I explain more about the sleeve procedure. So uh, that's it for this week. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, for future videos and updates and send me your comments, questions via Twitter, through YouTube. Uh, got the links right here. And uh, thank you so much for watching.